Hello there, uh, I thought I'd do a little review for you today. This lovely piece of polyester I'm currently sitting in is the Van Gogh Venom 600 sleeping bag. Uh, it's a four season bag and I should also add this one is the 2014 version not the 2015 version. I've been meaning to do this review for quite a while now um, and because of that uh, if you do choose to get this bag the colour you will get will be this lovely pea green not this nice jazzy blue one I'm sitting in. I guess I'll start you off with some numbers. This bag has a 95 to 5% down to feathers ratio and that has a fill power of 700. Fill power had me a little bit confused when I first heard it. It is basically a measure of the loft and therefore the insulating properties of down. The higher the fill power the more air an ounce of down can trap and therefore the more insulation you're getting. The comfort temp of this is about minus three. I say about because you can never take those comfort temp extreme temps as serious because everyone sleeps at different temperatures. The extreme limit of this is minus 28, although I would not want to use this bag in minus 28 conditions. I would get really cold in that because I generally sleep at a colder temperature. I think it's just a trait girls have. So yeah, I use this bag all year round here in the UK. It weighs 1.2 kilos, which uh, may sound quite heavy for a sleeping bag, but for the insulation you're getting, that's actually quite good. This bag does have some quite jazzy features, so I'll get out of it, because I'm slowly broiling here, and uh, show you some of those. Okay, so actually the first feature that I should point out is it's got a half zip. The zip only goes down to here. I just kicked the tripod trying to get out of this, um, which for me is actually okay. Uh, but for any of you taller chaps out there, you might struggle to get in and out. The lack of the rest of the zip, however, does save you quite a bit of weight and quite a bit of bulk. It also insulates you a bit better because you do tend to lose quite a bit of heat around the zip because the insulation, the down, obviously stops for a few centimetres there. But yeah, it does make it quite difficult to wriggle out of. Imagine you're in a uh, one, two person trekking tent and trying to wriggle in and out of this. <laughs> right then, I'll start from the top. This is what Van Gogh call their 3D hood. It basically means that the hood, the top section of it kind of fits over your head and it means you can kind of tighten it up and really snuggle down so like only your nose is poking out and uh, that means you can just keep everything warm and all snug basically. You can tighten and loosen the elastic in the hood and the, the bottom chin bit of the hood with these two little toggles here and you can really really get it nice and snug around your face. Another little nice feature is on the inside, if I can just show you, you have this internal baffle. It's this grey bit here uh, and it tightens at this toggle here. That tightens around your shoulders which means that more insulation and more heat is kept in the bottom bit of the bag where all your, your legs and your limbs are that need to be kept nice and toasty. I should also add the internal baffle is lined as well. Uh, it's not the same filling as the rest of the sleeping bag, but it's a, it's a synthetic filling and it's just an extra thing to keep the rest of your body warm. And while we're on the inside, another re feature I actually really find quite useful is this, uh, it's got a little pocket on the inside so you can put a tissue or your phone or whatever and not have to like crawl around in the dark to try and find it in your tent. So yeah, nice reasonable sized little Velcro pocket on the inside. Now, the fabric Van Gogh use is this ripstop nylon and it's actually water repellent. Um, I wouldn't want to go pouring a jug of water on it, but it will kind of, any splashes that come off your fly sheet or anything, it will repel them. So yeah, ripstop on the outside and what Van Gogh call like a soft feel nylon on the inside. Um, it's not padded or anything, but it's just got a slightly different feel to the outside and isn't water repellent, but it's breathable on the inside. So despite looking the same, it's actually a different fabric. It's also worth saying that the construction of this bag is something called box baffles. Um, basically, the down in each of these little compartments is contained in those compartments. Um, my old Van Gogh Venom, uh, the 200 from about five or six years ago, didn't have that and now the down is like spread out throughout the bag and there's like lots of cold spots, um, which is what they've been trying to avoid here because obviously you don't want like one bit having loads of down and one bit having nothing. 
Another little feature Van Gogh are very keen to mention is these little things which mean you can hang the bag up when not in use. So this is the stuff sack that the Van Gogh Venom comes in and as you can notice it's a dry bag. Um, it's not one of the super heavy duty dry bags, it is quite lightweight but it does have tape teams on the inside and I've spilt a water bottle on this in the past and it actually holds up really well and as have I mentioned this? Yeah, I mentioned it before when I was talking about the ripstop nylon material. It's so important to keep down bags dry because they don't, unlike synthetic bags, they don't work the same when they're wet. They kind of clog up, that loft isn't there, the fill power is useless and it just gets you cold. So yeah, keep your sleeping bag dry. Biggest, biggest tip for anyone in life at all. So that's pretty much it for the features. Um, but you can find features anywhere. I've had this bag for just over a year now and it's it's really great. It cost me £240 and that is actually the same price I think as the current the 2015 Van Gogh Venom. £240 might sound like a lot of money however some other sleeping bags with similar kind of features um, or even higher spec ones you can go a lot higher spec you're talking £300, £400 plus. Yeah, the Van Gogh is one of the cheapest um, sleeping bags you can get with those figures with kind of minus three comfort temp, just over a kilo weight. I personally couldn't afford a bag any more expensive, but I've been really, really happy with this. Um, last December, I went to Nepal. I went on a trekking expedition in December and it was bloody cold. It, we got actually got snowed in for a few days at high altitude and it really did, did get kind of... I think we were talking minus 20 plus kind of temperature. Conditions like that you really do need some nice high quality kit and this bag really did do me proud then. I was really really pleased with its performance. If however you don't really like the sound of this one there are a couple of others I couldn't personally recommend but seem to have similar kind of features. The Rab Ascent is the one I was looking at at the same time as getting this. Um, I think it's also, yeah, £220, so a little cheaper, but it's also a little bit heavier. Uh, the Rab Ascent 500, I, could, I should say. There is, there's a few in the range. Also, the Mountain Equipment Zero 300, um, £100 more, 330 quid, but it's got, I think it's a quite a bit lighter and it's got a bit lower uh, comfort temperature, but even still £100. Earlier I talked about weight of the sleeping bag, the Rab Neutrino 400 at 350 quid is um, 800 and something grams, I think, which uh, if you're looking for a lighter one to go trekking with or you need lighter weight kit then that might be something you want to look at. Again, I can't personally recommend any of those because I don't have them and I haven't tested them out but they seem to have similar features and I understand that this particular bag might not be for everyone. So I think that's all I have to say on that. Um, forgot to mention it's actually DV and scouting backed so if you are doing your Duke of Edinburgh awards or you're in scouts or guides or whatever um, or you're just looking for a good value fairly low priced uh, but obviously performance scented bag I think I would really look strongly at this one I can really recommend it give this review a thumbs up if you liked it and I'm doing Vido I'm making a video every day this month so check back tomorrow for something else I haven't decided what yet. <laughs> Bye!